So, Margaret Sang, she was born in 1879, died in 1966, she was the founder of Planned Parenthood, one of the main leaders of the birth control movement in America, and generally and loudly lauded as a champion for women's rights. You know, she gets in all those, like, strong woman lists. But if you take a close look at her life, and especially her writing, we might get a different picture of what Margaret Sanger's motives were for her life's work. Champion for women's rights, maybe, but she was also a very strong and very open eugenist. I read what is probably her most famous book, The Pivot of Civilization, and I was actually dumbfounded by the hateful and disgusted manner in which she spoke of the swarming, spawning populations of the poor and uneducated people, and unchecked breeding of the feeble-minded, the imbeciles, the morons that she considered vast numbers of people to be. I mean, half the book she was being all women's rights-y and saying, you know, they should have the right to choose if they want a kid or not, look how miserable and sad they are. Woman's power can only be expressed and make itself felt when she refuses the task of bringing unwanted children into the world. She also said that the birth control movement aimed to awaken responsibility to answer the demand for a scientific means by which and through which each human life may be self-directed and self-controlled. But for the rest of the book, she's talking about how certain undesirable people shouldn't be allowed to have children. She wants to use contraception as a way of purifying the race so she can have her precious race of thoroughbreds. She had a plan for world peace, and her fourth bullet was to apply a stern and rigid policy of sterilization and segregation to that grade of population whose progeny is already tainted, or whose inheritance is such that objectionable traits may be transmitted to offspring. And she frequently says things like, When we realize that each feeble-minded person is a potential source of an endless progeny of defect, we prefer the policy of immediate sterilization, of making sure that parenthood is absolutely prohibited to the feeble-minded. Feeble-minded. This is a term that she uses consistently throughout all of her book, The Pivot of Civilization, at least. I've only read that one. And she never explains what she means by that. She never says who exactly the feeble-minded are, and she never says who is to decide who are the feeble-minded. We'll get back to that. A lot of people on my side of the argument would say now that she was this crazy racist who wanted all blacks and Latinos and most Catholics to be exterminated from the face of the earth. Now was that true? I'm not in a position to say whether or not, but show me your friends and I'll show you who you are. Planned Parenthood was originally named the American Birth Control League and Margaret Sanger founded it with a lot of help from Henry Pratt Fairchild, C.C. Little, and Dr. Lothrop Stoddard. Now, all of these were leading eugenists and also moderate to severe racists. Now, is it so inconceivable that Margaret Sanger just might have been talking about black people or Latinos or people with a certain religious belief when she kept saying feeble-minded? She edited a periodical for a number of years and it was called the Birth Control Review. She featured a number of sketchy people in this magazine, none the least being Dr. Ernst Rudin. Now, he was a deranged scientist and the head eugenist under Hitler. Now to be fair, he was featured in 1933, which was before Hitler went all bozo on everybody. But I mean, still, this is the type of person with whom she corresponded. And that should be some sort of testament to her character and her cause. I think it's fair to say that Margaret Sanger did fight for women's rights, but that was only a secondary cause to her main purpose, which was eugenics, to purify the race. Henry Fairchild Osborne, also affiliated with the American Birth Control League, aka Planned Parenthood, also a crazy eugenic racist and not a very nice person, said this, as quoted by Wikipedia. Birth control and abortion are turning out to be great eugenic advances of our time. Now, if you're thinking about reading Margaret Sanger's The Pivot of Civilization, I'd suggest you do, especially if you still have some question about her, you know, character, because it's made very, very clear in this book. However, I would caution you first to read Orthodoxy by G.K. Chesterton. If you don't want to read the whole thing, at least the first two chapters. If you've read it already, please refresh, because I was thinking about these two chapters of Orthodoxy the entire time I was reading The Pivot of Civilization. Margaret Sanger was not an idiot. She was of that certain class of highly intellectual, super, super smart 
but still with a flawed philosophy type of person that Chesterton spent all of his life writing against. I mean, he has her type down pat, and it's really helpful if you read the first couple of chapters to, of Orthodoxy to understand what you're working with before you read The Pivot of Civilization because her arguments make sense. They're logically sound. And I'll be honest, it was pretty hard for me to read that book because I knew it was so wrong. But me, with my little non-philosophical mind, could not tell you why without saying, well, but he's just wrong. So, read G.K. Chesterton first, then read Margaret Sanger, and you'll be good. Thanks for watching. See you very soon. Goodbye.